12 hours of racing starts now. Let's go. Yeah, just spraying free there, bud. Well, good morning from Sebring International Raceway here in the paddock. It's about 20 after 7. We're starting bright and early today, but today is one of the biggest endurance sports car races in the world. It's 12 hours of Sebring. This is the ultimate test of a car. They say if your car can last 12 hours at Sebring, it can last 24 hours anywhere in the world. It's one of my favorite events of the year, one of my favorite racetracks to be trackside filming at. It is incredible. So right now we're just waiting to get one of the most uh, important shots here as the sun rises at this end of the paddock. Everyone is all pumped up down there at that end to get the cars rolling to the false grid with the sun rising behind them. It's such an important shot here at Sebring. I'm just down here in the BMW paddock. I need to grab some stuff uh, with one of the drivers before the day gets rolling. Uh, but I've got Brent down there to get that shot and then we'll get right into a crazy day at the 12 hours of Sebring. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into you. Yeah, visor down, just turn around and go to the car. You don't have to wink or anything like that. Just... I actually took my laptop with me to the paddock so I could really quickly edit that piece for BMW without having to head all the way back to the media center. So that's why I'm here in the paddock with my laptop. Dream team has arrived. It's Brent. Jared, we're gonna go crush the grid walk out. Brent, how'd you do down there? It was good, but you know, the sun just started peaking now. You didn't really have it for, yeah. We didn't have it. They rolled time. pretty They rolled pretty The early. commentary for Mike, though. My God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they rolled pretty early this year. So normally in the past, we have a warm up session at 8 a.m. So they'd roll a little bit earlier down to pit lane and do some practice pit stops and stuff. But this year, they nixed the warm up and we're just basically going straight into the grid walk in about 20 minutes. So. We're gonna head to the grid now and start the grid walk. It's one of the best parts of an IMSA weekend. Oh, oh, too bad we didn't have a warm up in this amazing sunlight. Yeah, that would have been terrible. <laughs> like I said, the grid walk is awesome. There's so many people down here. It's a huge line to get in down there to see the cars up close and it's an early morning it's before nine o'clock and everyone's down here to see the cars there's lots of kids hanging out it's just, it's just it's one of my favorite parts of this championship it's so fun to be part of a championship that does stuff like this you know that allows it to be accessible for everyone to come down buy a ticket you can come and see the cars it's awesome but before we actually get into like the race part of the vlog i realized when i did the bathurst vlog which if you haven't seen click up here and you can watch it it was one of the best times of my life uh, I didn't really talk about what makes Bathurst special and why it's such an important race. So I actually um, filmed a little segment the other day on the track walk to let you know all about Sebring International Raceway and the 12 hours of Sebring. So check it out. So one of the coolest things about Sebring is that its history is so wild. We're actually standing on what was a old army airfield in the 1940s where they did bomber training. So where we're standing right now is the original concrete blocks they laid to make the runways at that army airfield. And these have never been replaced. And yes, they are incredibly bumpy. They say here at Sebring, respect the bumps. That's like the slogan of the racetrack. Now the whole track is not like that. Lots of it has been repaved. It's been resurfaced many times. The track's also gone through a bunch of different configurations, but the current configuration is absolutely mega. It's a completely flat track. There's no elevation change here whatsoever. But if you told a driver that it's flat, it's not. They are bouncing around like this the entire Entire lap. It is super bumpy. I know we did the car to car shoot the other day and we were getting thrown around in the back of the F 150. It was not fun, <laughs> but it's an amazing racetrack to come to. It's one of our favorite places to visit because it's just a racetrack that has character. It's not just like another run of the mill, you know, FIA grade one circuit with lots of runoff. It's an old school, awesome circuit. People come here, they camp, they party, they have a great time, and it's just a really cool event to check out. If you ever get a chance to come to Sebring, especially the 12 hour, it's definitely worth coming out. So the grid walk can be super stressful, but it's not nearly as stressful as when you send the client the video and they send it back and they say, hey, we love it, but can you change the music? 
if you edit videos, you've been in that situation and you know how stressful that can be. Well, recently I started using music from audio. In fact, all the songs you hear in this vlog today are from audio. And audio uses Link Match AI. So you can just ask your client, hey, what are some artists you like? What's a vibe you like? Just give me a song you like that you love to have in this video. And you can search with the Link Match AI and find something that's very similar to it and just pop it in. And hopefully you won't have your client sending it back saying, hey, can you change the music? So if you want to try audio, there's a link in the description below. This video is not sponsored by audio. I'm not a spokesperson for audio, but I am an affiliate, so I do get a small commission if you sign up. But I will say, I wouldn't be telling you to try it out if I didn't genuinely use it. I think it's a great service. So hit the link in the description below. You can learn more. So let's uh, finish up the grid walk here. We'll get down to turn one. Racing starts now. Let's go. minutes in now. Uh, got my start shot, I'm working my way around the circuit now, I'm in turn three. Uh, however, I had a little bit of a hiccup there, I had to stop and actually do some filming for one of my clients who has damage on their car, who's asking if I can get a shot of the damage behind the wheel, so just quickly shot that and then took some screen grabs. Photos, I, I took a photo of my screen uh, with my phone and then sent them because I couldn't send the video. It's a cell service here in Sebring. It's just not great right now with so many people crowd, crowded into one area. So, do a few, a little bit more trackside shooting. We'll stay out until the light gets pretty crap, a couple more hours, and then we'll just be editing in pit lane for most of the day. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. turn seven and I've actually hopped the fence here to get into the fan area and do some shooting here and do one of my favorite techniques which is panning through the fans in the foreground. I've done this in a few videos. I did uh, a short where I talked about shooting through the trees at Spa. It's the same effect. You want to have manual focus. I tend to shoot with my aperture pretty high to make that manual focus easier. Just I focus on a spot on the track where the middle of the pan is and then basically I just hold the camera in that position and then just pan the cars as they come through to make sure they're in focus to get nice blur of the fans in the foreground. It doesn't matter that your aperture is, you know, stopped down, stopped up quite a bit because there's so much blur happening. And of course, to get that blur, we want to make sure that we're at the right shutter speed. You don't want to be cranking your shutter for this. You want to have a true natural shutter speed. Like I, my camera uses shutter angle, so I'm at 180. You're on a mirrorless, like an A7S III or something, you want to be at double your frame rate is going to give you the most realistic motion blur. So go to your shutter speed, set it to double whatever your frame rate is. If you're at 24 frames a second, that's going to be 48. Most cameras don't have that, but don't worry. Just put it at 50 and you're going to get the most realistic motion blur. So now that we have that shot, we're going to hop back on the golf cart and go back, maybe do a quick stint in pit lane and then go start editing for a little while because the light's kind of getting not great. It's about a high noon. Might as well go edit. Now, we're in a couple hours. 
So we just some editing now back in the pit lane. It was just under six hours ago, so just under halfway. This thing has flown by. Uh, now we're just waiting for this stop. So you had a full course yellow. So again, everybody came in. Now we're just gonna hang out, see what happens, and hopefully we get stops. I, I actually put my fire suit on. So I'm quite hot. Uh, put the fire suit on. Just about golden hour. It's editing. We did another stint pit lane. We've been all over the place. So now it's time to shoot the best part of the day where the cars look amazing. Out here in turn 10, this is my favorite spot to shoot sunset at Sebring. It's absolutely beautiful. You can also pan through these trees over here. It's just classic Sebring. So this day has flown by. I can't believe it's already sunset. And we started earlier. We're not going to have much nighttime, so I'm going to shoot sunset here. Runs down over there. We dropped Jared off in turn one. So we've got a lot of different shots that we can all get to combine, divide and conquer. You know, when you have a team, it makes no sense that's all going to the same spot. So we'll shoot golden hour now, and hopefully I'll have some really cool shots uh, on screen for you guys to check out right now. And hopefully I'll see a lot of likes and comments uh, down below this video. It really means a lot when you guys like my videos, leave comments. It really helps the YouTube algorithm my channel and just helps with growth so thanks everyone that does that i really appreciate it let's get shooting I did, I went down to 10 and got them coming and I got the straightaway, like almost like, you know what I mean? The camera's 24 in slow mo? 24 in slow mo. Okay, let's go down to 13. All right, big bumps. Bump, bump, bump. Finished here in the very dark WeatherTech paddock. 
And uh, the boys are at the podium, grabbing some stuff. So we're gonna head over there now, meet up with them, and then uh, be off to the dungeon to edit for a very long time because we have a lot of stuff to edit. So, but hey, it's a labor of love. Love doing this, man. Like it's it's long days. I always tell people. A lot of people, you know, say, "Oh, I I want to do what you do. I think I could do what you do." This is long days and long nights. Like we got here at 6:15 this morning, and we've been rocking all day. It's now 10:30 at night, and we probably have another four hours or so. Hopefully three hours. Hopefully not four, but we'll see. It's a lot of work, you know. We we. But like I said, it's a labor of love. So I am very fortunate to uh, do what I love for a living. So let's head to the podium, see the boys, and then we'll uh, get editing. Well, as is tradition, uh, totally forgot to shoot uh, a wrap up at the racetrack. So uh, back again in my echoey office, but uh, it was an amazing 12 hours of Sebring this year. I had a lot of fun. First off, huge thanks to Brent and Jared for helping me out. Wouldn't have got through it without them. Everyone was really happy with everything. The content was awesome. So it was a great event. I had a lot of fun. It's always one of the best races of the year. It's such a cool racetrack to shoot with the bumps and everything. And the people that want to repave Sebring, like just, just please stop. Let's not repave it. Unique is cool. It's let's not make it like every other circuit and just make it super fast. The bumps add character, make it interesting. It's a great track for race car development. Like, let's keep Sebring the way it is. Before I sign off today, I do again want to mention audio real quick. All the music you heard in this vlog is from Audio, which is a brand new music library that I just started using. In fact, this is the first video where I've used some of their music. They even sell a lifetime membership at a massive discount. And if you want to try Audio, you can use the link in the description below. This video is not sponsored by Audio, but that is an affiliate link, so I do get a small commission if you sign up using that link. Full transparency on that. But thanks again to everyone who watched. I really appreciate it like comment subscribe share this video with your friends it's a huge help i'm really enjoying 2024 and being able to share it with everyone through youtube so i've got a lot more content coming i'm already packing for the next trip i'm going to uh, the nascar race at coda fortunately i won't be vlogging that one uh, nascar's licensing is pretty particular so it doesn't cover me doing a vlog which is totally fine it's going to be a pretty low-key event anyway i just have one driver so i'm really looking forward to that but upcoming i've got gt world challenge that's actually saying hey we'd love for you to make some vlogs so looking forward to that i'll be able to show you all the in and outs of shooting uh, gd world challenge at paul ricard in a few weeks and then off to long beach and then just snowballs from there it's going to be an amazing year and i'm really looking forward to it again thanks to each and every one of you for subscribing and following my journey really appreciate it so we'll see you in the next one